Hey folks, we're here at the boat warehouse today, outside on a beautiful day, and uh, we're with Dave Jackson again. Hey Dave, how you doing fella? Hey, good man. Oh good man, I you, love doing this with you. It's a great fun. And what do we got here today, Dave? Well, Rob, fresh off the press, just rolled in. Uh, we just unwrapped this boat two days ago. It is a 2017 low SS210 Tritune, extra load package. Boat is known as the Kingston Special, and that is North American wide. Awesome, that's awesome. This is this is a, uh, a tri-tube. How long is it exactly? It's, uh, it's 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 classed as a 21 foot. It is 21 feet tip to tip. So it is. A we're calling it the 210 SS. Yeah. Excellent. And the Kingston Special, which is nice, it's right here in hometown. That's right. Um, th so again, this is a boat we specialize in a full tri-tune. And when I say full tri-tune, the importance of that is there are other three log boats on the market, Rob, but most of them end the third log two thirds of the way back back and don't come full back to the engine. The importance of that is uh, uh, the, the two log, or sorry, the three log boat that ends partial way underneath the front creates turbulence in front of the propeller. They just don't perform like a full length tube boat does. Right, okay, so this is big extension on here. This is really nice, and of course, it integrates into the transom. That's, yep. look at the welds in there. Well, and actually, something else they've done in the past two years was create, they've put the fuel tank pod into the center pontoon to create a balance of weight. So you've got 95 liter fuel tank centered in the back of the boat where the boat needs to have the weight. That's right, we've discussed that on other boats, how the center of gravity being in the middle like that, it doesn't drag at the back. That's right. There's some serious reinforcement in there. Yeah. Wow, that's really impressive. Yeah, nice cornered, uh, rounded corner finishes. We've got pull up pleats. Actually, we, we spoke about that um, previously with these rounded corners instead of the add-on corners. It creates a lot more strength. There's yeah. nothing to get hooked on a dock or anything like that. That's right. And the, so you don't have that corner cap that's going to get busted off like you do see on other manufacturers. Yeah, that's lots of strength. I love this finish on the top. Is this, uh, this, is... this is a new product. So this is a, hmm. a, your carpet available, then vinyl. This is actually an upgraded, like a seagrass matte vinyl. Uh, we really like the look and feel of this stuff. It's a little cooler on the feet and it just, it flows with the boat. Yeah, it's really nice stuff. It's hard to maybe tell on the video, but you can see that it's it's just, it's it's really uh It actually has intense. a cushion floor feel to oh, it. Oh yes, too. you're right too. It's yeah. a little foam there. Yeah. Excellent. And of course it's got, this particular model's got a, a, a ski bar on the back or a, a wakeboard bar, well, ski board, wakeboard tube, anything. Yeah, right? yeah. That's really really nice i love the raised rail finish i yeah. love that or the is that what it's called well the raised rail is is Actually, this portion. the raised rail is is for airflow underneath that's this right more pontoon uh, boats used to have the sheeting on the outside for years and now they've put it back to protect it on the inside and gives it a nice ornate look it just the railing really pops out and uh really helps finish the boat off yeah for I, sure. I i pulled up once beside a gentleman with a with a bow rider he tied up beside me with fenders and i got some wrinkles to show for it now so this would have prevented that that's for sure well around the back here i'm just trying to stay out of the wind a little bit here um it must have i see it's got a fish finder there's yeah, a transducer we, there we do some standards we put a basic x3 Lorentz fish finder on the dash not everybody wants to see fish but they can see structure it also ha shows depth of course mm -hmm. and uh has uh water temperature as well so it's a functional gauge not that much money to add to the boat so we're oh. happy with that yeah the depth finding is a really nice add and uh, you might notice rob here there's a this is actually a live well pump uh we do put a live well under one of the couches in this boat and the, you know some people aren't intending to ever put fish in there but it does back as a cooler great place to put ice and drinks and it flows out of the boat oh. this brings water in the boat you can wash your hands it's, yeah. it's a great feature for sure yeah and i uh, actually i store my anchor in mine because they're usually dirty and so on and then you don't have to worry about staining anything that's super well this is uh i mean just just even seen from the back it's beautiful yeah what do we got along the sides here oh it's, it's got a tandem trailer yeah a tandem trailer with brakes on one axle it's pretty much mandatory in this province you get to this weight level you got to have brakes on the trailer this trailer's custom fit it's caravan it's built in missouri near the plant for this company so um it's, it's the proper trailer for this. I just want to point something out. Uh, pontoon Boat Shopping 101. If you look up underneath the frame rails, what you want to see in any pontoon boat is the, the structures come right out to the edge. A lot of manufacturers don't have the frame rails or the floor joists come to the edge. So that creates a flimsy platform for the uh, rails to bolt to. So better structure, really important for impact. And it's got a nice bumper all the way along. Yes. Rail again, rounded 
corners. Uh, halogen docking lights, chrome finish. Uh, this is another part of the Kingston special package we do. Just finishes the boat, nice lights to come in at night. It's a beautiful boat. Yeah, and I just want to point out up underneath, again, full under deck spray shield, all sheeted uh, underneath. Yeah. This is important, a lot of companies do this, but they start it halfway back. Water is splashing. This is called Wave Tamer. It's part of the, the package that quiets the boat down in rough water. You'll notice also all the pontoons on the inside have the lifting strakes. Mm -hmm. Those are to create more planing surface and lift the boat up. Yeah. And that's on all three logs. Yeah. Very nice. Powder coated finish for easy maintenance. It looks nice. Um, yeah, fantastic trailer structured ladder when you're getting ready to go if you're a dri if you're a driveway boater obviously you're going to be bringing stuff cargo in and out of the boat it's really important to have a way to get up into the boat rather than climb up the swim ladder so has a handrail this is ensuring that you're going to be able to get in and out of the boat quickly excellent wow it's a beautiful boat well we'll check out the inside yeah let's go inside Bob. here we are Ooh. So full camper enclosure. What's important about this camper is it has three functions. A lot of companies don't do this. They either have just the screen and the curtain. What we do is all three. So you have a full privacy curtain. You also have a Velcroed window and a screen function. Three functions. If you buy an enclosure that does not have privacy curtains and you add them, you're looking at a heck of a lot of money. This is fully inclusive. Sure. Double bimini top. So all six pieces can come out of the sides. You got a full overhead shade, or you can deploy the front bimney closed, put it in the boot, have half shade. You got a 10 foot bimney behind you. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Big square tubes. I see none of that round flimsy stuff that you do see from here and there still. Yeah, all quick release uh, connection fittings on here so you can drop the bimney effortlessly in minutes. Uh -huh. All stainless steel, trailering legs are here. Yeah, I notice the short legs from time to time and people sometimes wonder what they are but if you're in a tight area and you got to drop that top down close to the deck you don't want to lay it on this on the deck here you want to just rise it above yeah exactly highway use you want to drop it down for trailering so really excited about 2017 they've redesigned the dash gone to blackface gauges wow they look great there's our, our hook three fish finder again we talked about that out back binnacle mount mercury shifter now we've taken a standard boat done some nice things to it this boat has part of the package now tilt steering we get asked for that a lot let's give it a little squeeze and it's real tilt it doesn't just spin on a u-joint it goes right up that's right that's for your school bus drivers right there <laughs> now yeah most pontoon boats standard come with a hair uh um, a, what's called a barrel seat or just a basic helm chair this is an upgrade we've done it's probably the nicest seat in the house this is a full armrest reclining that's more like an armchair when people sit in that they don't want to get out of it wow that's really really cool it, it makes me want to go to the lake <laughs> and uh of course this has got a, a top-notch audio i love the the modernization the usb yes, the inputs that's right we've uh, got uh jensen jensen's uh stereo this year of course bluetooth nice small compact unit great power we put four speakers in this boat it also has some uh, led lighting to light up the floor underneath we're starting to see that become more popular i can see that that would be a very great thing. a lot of storage this is a this is quite a big seat here i'm assuming it's got lots of storage underneath there that's correct yeah wow Little chase lounge good deep, deep cavities store all your stuff away again pontoon boat 101 most of them are like this but you've got all composite lined dry storage compartments here with drainage and all the tracks yes very very nice i like the fact that there's no cross members here and there so you can get those life jackets and larger items they without having to sneak them around yeah I, this is an interesting feature i've never seen that right away the the gate the yeah it's called lift lock so what it allows you to do is is lift the gate close it it you know, we didn't reinvent the wheel here, but this is a way to just keep the door open when you want to be out swimming and jumping in and out or loading the boat, of course. Side gate has the same feature. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, can you feel how nice and soft that cushion floor I, is? You know, I can, and I, 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 this is the first time I've seen this type of floor. I can see it being uh, cool on the feet, which, you know, vinyl sometimes can be a little hot, but at the same time, you don't have the, the, 
the headache that can come with carp. And I mean, carp is fine. Some people love it. Some people don't. And if you do fish a little bit, man, that's just the best. You just hose it off. Uh, I showed you the pump out back. This is where we put the underseat live well. Again, this is an easy thing to do in the factory. It's all welded and very clean structure. I mean, yeah, you don't have to put fish in there. Beverages, ice. It, it just, it's a great storage compartment. And it's aluminum. It is. I thought it would be composite. Nope. That's really nice. No, nope. they just, uh, anything they can build from aluminum at the factory, they do because that's how they, that's what they do. That's best. right. So, uh, L, L seating, nice lounge table here. You can spin the driver's seat around, face, entertain. What we've got here, Rob, is because the fuel tank is in the pod now, in the center pontoon, what that's done, and we camper's going to restrict me from this, but we've got a full storage compartment here. That's your battery, so you can put a tote in there, all your extra life jackets, ropes, there's lots of room. Popular feature on most pontoon boats, when we do well here, pop-up sun pad cushion. This is the pop-up privacy enclosure. It's full height too, so you can actually stand in there and get in and out of bathing suits. Some people do adapt that, put a porta potty in there. But uh, when you don't want that function, isn't that you great? can store everything away. Wow. By the way, uh, you don't this package. You don't just get the full enclosure, full camper. We also provide the full mooring cover. So if you just want to put the cover on and prolong the life of the camper. You can do that with this boat. That's nice because it is true. Sometimes you don't want the camper all the time, or if you're storing it for a while, then why would you let it cook in the sun when you don't have to? Exactly. Highway use, you don't want the camper up, obviously, or it could blow off. The cushions are so thick, too. Yeah. I mean, that's that's got to be three and a half inches or something like that. Yeah, the foam density is very good in this company. The, the quality of the vinyl is exceptional. So we're real pleased with this. This is, again, a little bit different. Uh, uh, design in the interior this year, but the same deep cushions they grab you where you need to be when you're sitting. Wow, this uh, is fabulous! But yeah, you can see how this color tone ties all together. Yeah, it's, it's nice, a nice gray with a bit of a darker gray, almost black, and then the black top. Yeah, gray carpet. I mean, it, it's just got enough chrome and, and and silver and so on. Just to, I mean, it's it's beautiful. And the best part is, is because you're the world's largest low dealer and actually Glastron and and four winds. And yes, four winds you do them all. Um, you've this is a custom package that you've put together. Yeah, the the owner Dave Mayhew uh, cre created this package. This was a market that we weren't getting involved in, and we've kind of uh, mastered this by ordering a package all the same, other than colors. It, it it's more efficient for the factory to build boats this way. We get a we get a good volume discount on this boat, which gives our comp uh, over our competitors a huge price advantage. Well, it's, it's a beautiful boat, and the functionality of pontoons and the popularity, it's not hard to imagine why it would make sense to have your own package, especially when you're as large as you are, and and right here in Kingston on the water, I, you must sell a ton of these. Well, extra low rough water package is what this is. We sell a lot of boats to the St. Lawrence River. People don't understand that this boat will effortlessly run in three four foot waves it's silent it just handles the water that well doesn't mean that a guy on a back lake doesn't want this boat maybe he's not in rough water but what he needs is person capacity the third log gives you up to 13 passengers this boat you can put eight to ten people in it throttle it it will actually plane in two lengths of itself it will you can pull the throttle back 20 21 miles an hour it just rides effortlessly on top of the water not through the water what are you running for a power plant on this? Well, we've got a 115 Mercury on this. Uh, this one actually has the com command thrust, of the CT feature, but uh, we don't see a big difference in the normal 115 to the CT. Uh, just a little bit more uh, gear ratio. But we're real pleased with the performance of the Merc 115. Works well on this boat. You can see the uh, rear standoff and swim platform structure. Lots. Great swim ladder too. It is. I noticed it's wide, yeah. so you don't. It isn't just as narrow as a ladder. It extends. I also noticed this is interesting. They've actually cut it on an angle. Yes. Here, just to allow for that extra space, which entry and exit. I mean, uh, it doesn't. If that came straight out, it's pretty restricted. This is yeah. this is well thought out. Yeah, it allows you to offset the gate here, have more room. 
great size platform. We do install barbecue uh, bases and mounts back here for people who want to stay on the water and have a snack. Uh, very functional. That makes total sense. That's awesome.